Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Conscript. So in the last episode we finally found our dear brother Pierre, who is barely alive. So this might be, if not the last, then at the very least the second last episode of this Let's Play. And our objective right now is to defend the outer perimeter, so we have to go through this door and most likely fight another horde of Germans. So without further ado, let's do exactly that. But uh, before doing that, I think I want to change the costume again, if this is going to be the last uh, episode indeed. I want to try all of them. What haven't I tried? Why are these two not together? I guess it's because the protagonist at some point during the story takes off the trench coat and the helmet. So that's why these two uh, options, the standard uniform and the trench coat, are together in the default option here. So uh, let's put this on. I kind of like the, I kind of like the helmet that he's wearing. Not that I can really see it because it's so pixelated, but whatever. Let's say, let's go with this. Oh hi, who are you? Someone we don't know. Fucking hell, mate! You scared the shit out of me. Well, at least I'm not alone here. Any more friendly, friendly faces? Pretty much everyone that we have known, like Gaston and what was the medic's name? Was it Marcel or something? Pretty much, ev pretty much everyone that we have that we that we know by name are dead. Lieutenant Andre, it was you that sent for help. Oh yeah, so you came because I sent the pigeon. We have secured the upper level of the fort. The men, the, the men in the basement will be tended to as soon as the enemy is repelled. This is our final push. We need every man we can get out there, Private. The medics will tend to those in the basement once these invaders are repelled once and for all. Are you ready for this? As ready as I can be. Alright, so we are back at the trenches here. Okay, so we have a, we have a first, first aid kit already, that's good. And what's that? A Molotov cocktail. Oh, firebomb even. Oh yeah, yeah. I talked about this in this in this one in the one episode where I where I said that they don't call them a lot of cocktails here because because they did because that name was not uh, invented yet. The Finns uh, came up with that name in the Second World during the Second World War in the Winter War against the Soviets. Okay. Uh, what do we have here? A bandage. I think we are good. Yeah, I, I can always take the ammo. What's that? Launcher ammo. Launcher ammo. Um, proprietary ammo for a prototype grenade launcher. Ah, oh, well, we don't have a grenade grenade launcher, so that's a big bummer. What's that? Our oh, raiding club. I think we'll do just fine without it. This uh, this uh, gun is pretty good. This is the fight for of, of our lives, boys. Give them hell. More grenade launcher ammo. But the fire rate is not very good at. Uh, it's not very good because I haven't upgraded it that much. That's a bit of a shame. Go there, okay. Yeah, he almost managed to hit me because the fire rate of this gun is not very good. I need to take some distance. What do we have here? Uh, just... Mm, okay. If maybe I should take the elephant gun here at this point. Oh! I didn't mean to <laughs> shoot the barrel there. Well, at least we... Did, did we get hit? Well, if we did, we didn't lose that much health. Actually, uh, now that I think about it, I, I, I haven't used this uh, uh, Spandau yet. Uh, let's assign this there. I 
let's take a bit of distance. Okay, at least he's down. There we go. And uh, I just wonder, what kind of ammo is this thing? Oh, what kind of ammo is it using? I can't reload it, apparently. So either I don't have the ammo for it, or there's no ammo for it at all. This fort is ours. Send them, re send them running. It's not really that powerful in a sense that it takes many, many bullets just to kill one enemy. Should I go further down here? Or should I just stay here? Andre, take this, son. Uh, take what? Oh, there's the grenade launcher. Okay. Well, at least I assume that's the grenade launcher. Maybe I should just get rid of this. Let's just throw it at someone. Like you, for instance. Okay, take that. Grenade launcher. Oh yes, please. Okay. Um, so I have five shots with this in total. Let's uh, let's sign this to... Maybe I should not use the saber here at all. Oh, that fire sp have spread fast. Oh, you're not, you're not dead. Okay. Oh, the fire rate. Okay, have a rocket to the face. One hit, one shot kill, as it should be. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, the, the goddamn reloading takes forever. Yeah, I should have expected that. Oh, there's poison too. Lovely. Okay, uh, just use this for now. I kind of want, I kind of want him and the flamethrower guy to be next to it, next to each other. Why, can, why, why aren't you burning your friend too? Why there's no friendly fire? That's bullshit. Okay, come here. Shit. This is a very awkward place. Now this guy is such a pain, always following me everywhere. Ouch, fuck. Okay, I really need to stop stop messing around. Just take a shotgun to the face. And then we take care of you. Uh shit, shit! Oh, the music changed. Okay. That that took care of them. I have like a one-man army here. Is anyone from my side even alive anymore? Well, there are some guys running. Okay, more launcher ammo. I wanna see what's in inside that. Uh, bit too much. I don't want to use a grenade launcher on that, that guy. Ouch, fuck. Wrong gun. There we go. Two for one deals, you know how much I love those. Goddamn gas in the way. Sure, take that. Anyone else want some? Come on, there must be more. Now there's more gas there.
this does feel like the, like a the big final battle of this game. This might be the last episode of this let's play. Reload everything. Return return to Pierre. Okay, so that was that. That was that, okay. Um, I think we have explored most of this place except for Oh, they never mind, I was about to say that the gas is gone, but I guess not. Uh stupid oh there we go. A sign from there. Just wanna see what's in here. Just a grenade, okay. Can I even yeah sure I can pick it up. And I guess there's something underneath here. Shotgun shells, okay, a bit late, but just don't get infected. Checkpoint reached, okay. Oh shit. Run, bitch, run. Why do you always run so slow when you run either up? Well I can understand why you run slower if you go up the stairs, but why do you why why do you run slower when you go down the stairs? Oh shit. I wonder if if you can if you can die to one of those. Now yeah, I don't know if you can hear it. Probably not, but this controller is shaking like hell. Shaking <laughs> vibrating real real bad. Checkpoint reached, okay. Um I may as well I don't know if this matters at all, but I think I may as well just uh do this and take take the surgical kit. I'm just gonna heal myself with this, might as well. And since the grenade launcher is such a powerful and fun weapon, I'm, I think I'm just gonna take it with me, just in case. All right, Pierre, you better still be here. Um, where is Pierre? He's in complete shock. His mouth is moving, but no words are coming out. Oh, there you are. There's Pierre. Son, you need to listen to me. We are retreating. Those bastards knew we were coming. It was a trap. They are hitting the fort with the heaviest artil artillery. These tunnels won't hold. Medics have tended to the wounded. We are getting out of here now. Get moving. That's an order, son. Oh, you're just gonna leave Pierre to me. Well, that's fine. Pick up Pierre. Well, of course we're gonna pick him. Oh, we are actually carrying him. Andre, I... I can walk slightly bit faster, but I can't obviously run. At least it... Well, it is draining our stamina a little bit. But not... Not by too much. I'm... Shh, don't talk, Pierre. We are getting out of here. Oh, that was a... Black spike or whatever. My leg. What, your leg is uh, fucked up? Well, be glad that it's only your leg. I mean, look at that guy. He's doing way, way worse than you. He doesn't have legs at all. Sorry, dude, but... I think you are done for. I can't feel my legs. Oh. Poor guy. Yes, we go this way. Ma. Could the dialogue uh, box thingy move out of the way so I can see, please? Thank you. The watch. Oh yeah, you... Did you get the watch? Uh, he's talking about his father's, or was it his grandfather's watch? Well, our father's or grandfather's. Are we getting tired? Well, I can't blame him. Oh, 
All right, we're out of the fort. Don't fall asleep now or something. Don't collapse. I know you are tired and extremely fatigued, but just a little bit more and then you can sleep as much as you want. Well, there's lots of friendlies here, so that's a good sign. I guess we have to take Pierre to the medical tent. Open your eyes, dammit. Well, I guess we go in here. Put him down here, son. He's not look, look, looking good. Hold him down. Oh shit, we're gonna amputate his leg. The leg has to go. Andre, hold him! Oh god. Andre! Andre! I guess we either collapsed due to fatigue or out of shock. Stay with me, son. So is this simply the end? Or one of the endings? Oh, a dream sequence. Oh, well that's not Andre. Is this the mother, perhaps? Well, she won't run, she just walks faster. Hmm. Now we can't read this letter, okay. Uh, can we take a look at this picture? Where are we anyway? This is not uh, this is not our home, is it? Maybe a military hospital. No one else seems to be here. Oh, there's us. There's Andre. This man has gone through a little literal hell. So I can only imagine how emotionally scarred he must be. Oh my god. He looks like he hasn't eaten properly. And he looks very pale too. During the summer months, English support at the Somme helped alleviate pressure for the French in the hills of Verdun. The Battle of Verdun would come to a close in December of 1916 after a, a French victory. I didn't, couldn't quite read everything. 300,000 men had sacrificed their life for next upon territorial gains. The scale of death is in such a small area would have Verdun amply named the Meat Grinder. God damn it, I can't read fast enough. Total casualties would exceed 700,000. For many of the men who were lucky to come home, a new battle was waiting for them. Suffering from shell shock, I believe. But the wounds inflicted from this battle were not physical. Yeah, they were mental. And they will never heal. And not only these mental wounds will have, are affecting the soldiers, but also most likely their future generations as well. Their children as well, assuming that they will even tell about the war to their children. Okay, what's this?
Okay, very ominous. Wait, what? Oh, we are not done yet. Where the hell are we anyway? This is not the same military hospital, I don't think. I wonder if we are just dreaming now, having a nightmare. I guess we just keep moving. Can I access my inventory? No, of course I can't. Not while carrying Pierre. Wait, what? Oh! Oh, that gorilla is from one of the... Uh, from one of the propaganda posters where the... Where the Germans are depicted as... Uh, as a gorilla or King Kong. More specifically. I know that propaganda poster. But that was terrifying, Jesus. They are back. Wait, what? Conscript. Okay, well that was... That was the end. 3. We have so much to say. Achieve ending 3A or 3B. 3A or 3B. So wait, so there's at least four endings, one of which we have already seen, it was the secret ending, and this is the third ending, uh, 3A or 3B. So each of the first three endings have also A and B variants. I don't even know if, I don't even know if the third ending is the best possible ending. I'm gonna assume that no, it was not the best possible ending, at least the at least, at least it, it didn't feel like very happy, go lucky ending. We got some French voice actors here. French voice production side France, okay. Got some German voice acting too, of course. I'm just wondering if I should talk while uh, during the during the credits here, or maybe I, or should I give my brief thoughts on the game after the credits? Well, maybe I should give my thoughts now instead of just say, staying silent here. But yeah, I did enjoy this game a a lot. I really like this game, and and especially and especially as someone who likes history, uh, Kickstarter credits. Special thanks to all of my original Kickstarter backers. I wonder if my name is here somewhere. I believe that it should be here somewhere. These are the different tiers. I don't remember what my, what my tier was exactly. And these are not in alphabetical order, so finding my name is a bit difficult. I don't think my... You know, I don't think that my rank was this high. But how much did I... How much did I pledge again? Was it like 20 or so bucks or something? I don't remember, but, but it wasn't a whole lot. Just, just basically enough to get the digital copy of the game as well as... As well as uh, some of the... Uh, some goodies, uh, in-game goodies. Oh, never mind. There is my name, Sergeant Chef. So that, that's my rank, apparently. But yeah, that was my name. Okay. So anyway, so what? What was I saying? Oh yes, as someone who has studied history and 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 is also very interested in the First World War, more so than the Second World War. I just find the First World War so much more. Uh, inter interesting and not so black and white, but anyway, so as someone who is who likes history and the first world war I really enjoyed this game a lot and I think that he 
I think that the developer depicted the brutality of the war really, really well. And what makes this game very different compared to the other survival horror games that I have played is not only the fact that this is this takes place, place in a historical setting or that there is no zombies, dolls or ghosts or whatever or any other fictional supernatural creatures that you have to fight but you, but you fight fellow fellow men who happen to be Germans and I guess you do kill some French as well if they don't go to battle and you have to Kill, and you have to kill them for cowardice. But anyway, so that's not the only only reason why this get this wild conscript is very different from from all the other survival horror games, because in every other survival horror game, at least the ones that I have played, uh, the game takes place in an isolated area, whether it's a creepy house, mansion, or castle, or even an or even an entire village or town. Uh, this game takes place place in a battlefield where you are not isolated or alone. Uh, should I say you are surrounded by your fellow Frenchmen? Uh, uh, good, like half of the game, or at least one third of the game, you are surrounded by f uh, fellow Frenchmen, and also, and and of course other enemy soldiers. So you're not alone in that sense. This this game doesn't take place in an, in an isolated map place, and you are also, and you are just one of the many thousands of French soldiers in the battlefield. You're not someone special. You're not a... You're not like Leon S. Kennedy or anyone else important. Not not uh, Jill Valentine or Chris Redfield or anyone else. Not a... And not the... You're not, you're not some sort of a hero, per se. You're just one of the thousands of soldiers sent to the meat grinder where you most likely die. So that's why this game... Uh, so that's why the story felt more active or engaging because you are part of a battle and you are just one of the and you're just uh, and, and you're just one part of the uh, this big machine war machine so that made this game also feel like more down to earth than all the other survival horror games and also one thing that I noticed that when I played the demo version of this game like I don't know was it four years ago there was this one type of enemy that reminded me, that looked like a ghoul, essentially. I, I believe that they're supposed to be soldiers, whether friend or foe, who, who became mad after, after being exposed too much to the, uh, to the poison gas, or tear gas or whatever. Not tear gas, and tear gas is not that bad. But uh, anyway, so they, they got exposed to the poison gas so much that they became mad and turned into ghoul-like beings. I did. We did not. We did. We did not counter those enemies at once in this entire game. So, so the developer must have scrapped those enemies away altogether. And I don't know why. But if I had to make a wild guess, it, it uh, developer must have uh, come to the conclusion that yeah, this is a bit too much over the top. These 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 enemies are too much, too much like fiction. They. They were not they were not ghoul like enemies like that in the actual war. So he decided that out of the respect for real history and also the soldiers who fought in that terrible war, he decided to he decided to just he decided to just uh, scrap those enemies away altogether from the game entirely. Out of the respect for the soldiers and the history in general. I don't know if that's true, or I don't know if that's the reason why he removed those enemies, but that's my guess, if I had to make one. Uh, the credits are still going. And gameplay-wise, this game uh, uh, borrows many mechanics and features from features from all the Resident Evil games from 1 to 4, basically. I haven't played Silent... Oh, thank you for playing. Well, thank you for making this game. Been waiting for this game for at least 4 or so years. But let's see what, what my score is. It's not going to be very impressive, I'm sure. I mean, first playthrough and everything. I wonder if these photos are real. Or whether these are just fictional photos that the developer made for this game specifically. Okay, we got D, which is not very good. Ending, Shell Shock A. Okay, so Andre did suffer uh, or started to suffer from from shell shock. Yeah, not a very good ending. Difficulty, soldier. Time. 
Uh, just under 19 hours. Saves, 31. Enemies killed, 293. And total heals, 45. Playthrough, first playthrough. Alright, uh, I, I guess we just save it here. Loading a complete file will carry over weapons and items from the previous playthrough. Overwrite the save uh, file. S rank will be unachievable on this file. Oh yeah, because of the... Because I still have the... Uh, because because I still have the checkpoint. Se checkpoints are... Uh, 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 checked. Well, yeah. So yeah, we still we will still have the checkpoints. So that's why we can't get the best possible, uh, best possible ranking. Well, let's see. I'm not gonna start a new. I'm not gonna start a new game or anything. At least not make a let's play of it. But let's see how we start. Let's see if I'll have all the. Well, the game did say that I that I will have all of my items, but I just want to make sure. I didn't seem to unlock any new uh, new cost and costumes. Yeah, let's skip this. Now let's skip this one too. They are back. So we start, the same as usual, and yes, I do have all of my <laughs> shit here. The Germans attacking now are, are gonna be so, so screwed. So we, are, I, we haven't unlocked these two costumes yet. And this must be the uniform where we wear the uh, flashy uh, blue uniform with red pants. The original first military uniforms that they were wearing at the start of the war, before they started to use, well, these, for the sake of better camouflage and practicality. But yeah. Alright, uh, I just wanna... Uh, is there item... Is there item box here? Somewhere close by? Apparently not here. Well, let's go and find an uh, item box. Alright. I should have all of my stuff here as well. Um, yes, I do. Okay. Uh, you're not the merchant, are you? Hmm, no, okay. Alright, well... Yeah, I'm not gonna start a new playthrough uh, right here, right now. Uh, I don't wanna quit the desktop. Main menu, yes. Yeah, let's go. Alright, is there anything else that I wanna... What's record? Records? Oh yeah, we can see our... Rankings and stuff. Training, recruit, soldier... Oh yeah, then these are the difficulties. What does it say? 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Total playtime, 20... Over, a little over 22 hours. Okay. Challengers, what are these? Oh yeah, these are the... Uh, achievements. Who needs artillery? Kill four enemy soldiers at once with an explosive barrel. It sounds like a simple thing to do. Re rewind a lost photo twice. Refind a lost photo twice. So are you saying that I have to find the same photo uh, that the German soldiers uh, drop? The, uh, the very same photo twice? Okay. Uh, so yeah, are these all of the achievements? App apparently so. And this is the uh, the war to end all wars. Achieve four. Uh, achieve ending four. Secret ending. Yeah. Okay. I guess that's everything then. And this is the end of this uh, let's play. I do want to make a my thoughts on the video of this game at some point in the future. But then again, there are. I have been slacking this year 
uh, when, when it comes to those videos. I have been trying to make one, but then, well, real life stuff was happening and I kinda run into a writer's block, in a sense. So I wanna make my thoughts on videos of at least two other games first before I talk about Conscript. And, be and besides, I feel like I should, I should maybe play this game once more without the checkpoints, but, but we'll see. I really love this game. I love it uh, as a history buff and history student. It's it's about as accurate as I expected. There's not any like supernatural uh, things or en enemies in this game. And as far as I can tell, even though I'm not an expert when it comes to the weaponry and guns used in this time period, they seem to be they seem to be pretty accurate. Although I wouldn't be surprised if the if the grenade launcher was a well, it did say that it's a prototype. I guess there was some grenade grenade launchers or something resembling uh, grenade launchers back then, but like I said, I'm not an expert. But yeah, I really like the game. I really like the gameplay. Oh, and this game also felt really good uh, with the controller. Much better with the controller. Well, it worked really well with the mouse and keyboard as well, so both are, I would say, about equally good. But if I had to choose at which one I would play this game uh, with again, it would be with a, with a controller. And I was using the Xbox 360 controller, in case you were wondering. So yeah, this game felt really good with the controller. And I was kind of worried that whether, whether this game would feel as good with the controller, because in Signalis you have pretty much the same kind of combat system. But in that game you had to aim, aim your gun at the enemies using the joystick. And that was much more difficult than aiming at your enemies with a mouse, obviously. So that's why I struggled with that game using the controller. And I returned back to the mouse and keyboard because it was so much more easier with that. But I didn't have that problem in this game, so that's really good. So controller felt great. But yeah, I don't think I I don't have any I have anything else important to mention. Uh, right here and right now, because if I did, um, this video would become too long with me blabbering here in the background. But yeah, this was Conscript, really enjoyed the game, and I highly recommend that you go and buy it yourself, even if you watched my entire playthrough from start to finish. So if you already haven't bought the game, go and buy it. Because this single developer, uh, what was his name again? Jordan Mochi, yeah, I think that was his name, yeah. So he made this entire game practically all by himself, excluding the music, which I think was made by someone else. So he made this game entirely by himself, so he deserves all the money that he can get from this game. So go and buy it. And so with that, thank you for watching my blind Let's Play of Conscript, and see you next time in a not-too-distant future in a new Let's Play.